Hi traders, welcome to this demonstration video of how to install the new JavaFX interface into MetaTrader. So first of all we need to check which version of Java we're running because we need Java 8 version or update 20. So go to control panel, click on the Java icon and then click on the about button and make sure you're running version 8 update 20 Java standard edition. If you're not um, you need to install that and to do so just uh, open up Google type in uh, Java 8 download and search for that and just go to this link here Java SE runtime environment 8 and you'll see here there's, these are the runtime environments and all the different um, platforms uh, click the accept license agreement and then if you're running a 64-bit operating system download the Windows X64 um, I would download the this executable version here uh, x64.exe if you're running a 32-bit uh, a operating system download the Windows X86 online this one here the j586.iftw.exe and those those installers will will install um, Java version 8 update 24 you automatically so once you've got Java version 8 installed then click the link that you've been given which will um, download the JavaFX installer and I'm just going to quickly generate a link here so uh, I'm just going to pause the video and create the link so here's the link that uh, you'll be given um, and just enter that link into the search area in the browser hit enter and then the, down the installer will start being downloaded in the bottom left hand corner so that file's now downloaded and then when you open it up the zip folder you'll see FXA MACD Turbo JFX Setup 600 double click on that and then the installer you get a security warning click run and this is the installer so accept the license agreement and now navigate to your MT4 root folder um, so go into MetaTrader 4, click file, click open data folder and then just remember this path up here so use the snipping tool or something snip that and then close MT4 now close all this stuff down we had open four keep things nice and simple move the installer somewhere where you can still see the snipping tool and then just navigate to that path so local disk IBM preload in this case program files ODL MetaTrader 4 click next click install finish that close the snipping tool reload MT4 and then open up a new chart say euro dollar and go to the indicators folder in the navigator if you can't see the navigator press control and N and that will be displayed now scroll down to the M's and then load MACD Turbo JFX no need to uh, allow DLL imports just click OK now you can see that indicator is now displayed now open up the data folder again open data folder and then just scroll down until you get to a file called FXA JFX interface and it's an executable jar file double click it and you'll get this dialog here login data enter your unique reference number and ID I'm just going to take that off screen for a second so I'm just going to hide my ID details and when you when you press submit you'll be taken to a product catalog go to alert enable indicators click MACD turbo and this MACD turbo interface will be displayed I'm just going to just make the navigator a bit bigger so we can now see the interface and now just click the drop down combo box button and you can see this euro dollar sixty chart has come up with the symbol and the time frame and obviously the chart ID click that and then if we stop changing a few things like click the show 
and hide histogram button you can see the histogram has been removed from the chart I'm just going to shift the chart over so it's current uh, at the moment the current version when you click in MT4 the Java interface will, will um, uh, go to the back so to bring it up again just go down to your, your ribbon down here and click the Java icon uh, I'm thinking about putting that into a swing container which is always uh, on top uh, and but I think the new version of Java, Java, uh, Java version 8 update 20 will allow you to set the modality of the window so they're always on top so anyway there you go that's the installation completed you can play around um, with the indicator and change all sorts of parameters uh, at your leisure and, and when tick data comes in you'll see those changes being applied accordingly so when we, when we get a tick on the euro dollar in a second you'll see basically the histogram coming back in blue the signal line going to a green color being, getting a bit thicker and also the MACD line going to a dashed style uh, as it's bank holiday Monday the markets are even more dead than usual so you have to wait for a few ticks but so there you go that's um, that's the Java FX installation uh, demonstrated for you I'd watch this in high definition uh, on full screen mode so you can see exactly what's going on thanks for watching